Hello everyone, Sean from Explominate here, also known as Shifty to those of you who hang out in our community. And what we're having to look at is Phoenix Point. Now, a bit of background, I backed Phoenix Point, played it a bunch of times from the back of builds through to, I want to say the third DLC, but I hadn't actually touched it for a while after that because I got stuck in that whole burnout thing with early access games where you're playing it over and over again, like part of it over again, and there's new DLCs coming out, and then by the time it comes out, it's broken all your saves, and then you're starting again, and it just kind of burned me out a bit. So, um, yeah, well, Phoenix Point, basically, it's it's sort of like a spiritual successor to XCOM. Like, it's Julian Gollop, the guy that made the original XCOM, so there's a lot, fair amount of similarities there. Now, what I ran into was when we finally got to DLC 4 and 5, I was just like, meh, I, I'll, I'll come back to it when it's complete. And then it was complete, and then I was like, uh, you know, I'll get to it. And then they brought out workshop support. And I went, okay, well, I'll wait and see what they can do with that, because, you know, you get Long War from XCOM and that kind of thing. Maybe there'll be something pretty cool, like, that will be different enough to sort of get me back into it. And which is pretty much what's, what's ended up happening down the line. There's a group of people... They were on what's called the council for snapshot games. Like they were beta testing updates before they came out, that sort of thing. They had like the inside track, I guess, of what was going on with updates and what snapshot were up to, I guess, to an extent. And they've got earlier access to the modding tools. There's uh, a bunch of modders from what I understand that got access to the tools and they were working on some mods. And what they've ended up essentially coming out with is, well, there's one big mod but there's actually a few smaller ones as well. And that's what we're going to be looking at today. So it's not just regular Phoenix Point, it's modded Phoenix Point. So I'll just jump in here. This is going to be a little bit of a long one as an intro, just because I'm going to go over what this is, like what the mods are that are involved, and then we'll get into the game. So let's have a look. So here we go. These are the mods I've got at the moment. So this is the big one, Terror from the Void. So it's major overhaul mod which changes story stuff, changes, and uh, it's also integrated with a mod that they made a while ago called Better Classes, and it's to do with multi-classing, balancing out the classes and all that kind of thing. So, but yeah, the Terror from the Void is the big one, like a lot of story changes and balance changes uh, all around. It's way too much to go over, like, quickly, but I'll link, well, I'll link what they are in the description, and then if you guys want to, you can have a look for yourselves and have a poke around. And they've also got Better Vehicles, which basically improves the ground vehicles, I remember pretty like, early on they were kind of OP. Like, they were really powerful. The only downside was you couldn't fit them into some places. And then they got hit with a nerf bat fairly hard. Like you could still take them, but they were expensive and had very limited ammo. And I, I kind of found them pretty useless after a little while. So this aims to basically make them not terrible. <laughs> So, and then lastly, we've got better enemies, which is basically an improvement to AI and enemies all around. It makes them a little more difficult to deal with. I think it changes the evolution as well. Uh, you get certain enemies earlier on, but I think it slows down the evolution speed. So it balances it out pretty well in that regard. And we can actually go in and tweak here. So you can, what I like about these mods, this is like a key thing that they've gone in, that the developers of the mods went into, like as a, as a what do you call it? A pillar of development. And the old idea was that if there is anything in their mods that you don't like, that you don't want, you can turn it off. It's completely customizable, which is awesome. I, I really, really like mod support for this. This is like one of the... Phoenix Point was a game that I was really looking forward to seeing if there was mod support coming. I think a lot of people were. Because I'm a big fan of mod support as you know for quality of life stuff and improvements, exactly like this sort of thing. Nothing stupid like, you know turning guns into sex toys or whatever like that i don't know but yeah like um quality of life stuff and overhaul mods uh, and yeah changing things to be more like what they would like them to be you know would that make sense in a way so we'll go in here so better enemies we've got at the moment that's the ai changes so you can buff the sillas make uh, they're like the big scary monsters that can do multiple things that makes them like more dangerous and some of these are turned off. I've actually been advised to turn them off by the developers of the mod. They're just like, it's going to make it really, really painful if you leave them on. Don't do it unless you're basically an expert, which I would say I'm not at the moment because I haven't touched it for a while. So yeah, we turn that one off. Level 3 minimum enemies is off because they will come with skills that 
would be well above what I have access to at the beginning. Uh, so they've nerfed the Akron core reinforcements. Must be kind of OP. Acid damage buff. Really a buff to that? Okay. I remember that being pretty dangerous. Uh, so basically acid damage buffs all around. Buffs all around. Same time mind control turned off for obvious reasons. Otherwise one of your units will get, you know, captured by a mind fragger and then can also shoot one of your other guys in the same turn, which is just scary. So, no. Uh, I believe that's supposed to give the AI more time to actually do stuff. Perception, blah, blah, blah. Vehicles, there's not really anything to look at there. Terror from the Void, the big one. So, starting squad. You can choose different starting squads if you want to, and you can... I think you can have them start as a higher level if you want to. Yeah, I think that's the buffed ones here. Yeah, so you can have the squad with buff stats there, and that one is to do with um, factions. You can choose a different starting squad if you do. Replaced by a faction class of your choice. Yeah, so you can you can mix and match your characters a bit there. And then you've got changing around scavenging, scavenging sites, chances of finding sites with certain things, diplomatic penalties, ever, everything drains stamina now, basically. If you do anything negative, you lose all your stamina on your units. Uh, ambushes have been revamped, so they used to be kind of an enemy farm. Like, you'd have people just running naked with basically nothing on them. And they just run around and shoot the paltry amount of enemies that would pop up, grab all the loot, and then leave. And from what I understand, you can't do that anymore. It's like a smash and grab kind of thing. Get in, grab what you can. Like, you need to go in with a decent amount of gear because you get swarmed. So, pretty interesting to see how that goes. Uh, stamina recuperation. Yeah, they've changed. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Like, the story stuff's changed. They've changed the, uh, what do you call it? Festering skies, like the air combat and how the aircraft work. It's changes to that. Uh, reverse engineering's changed. Oh, there you go. There's your air combat. Oh, I should point out too, this mod, as far as I'm aware, requires all of the DLCs. So if you don't have them, I, th I think someone said in theory you could do it without Chaos Engines, maybe? But, yeah, probably not advisable. So, and then you've got your Havens under attack and the ammo. So, yeah, it, it's, it's quite customizable in here and you can turn off a lot of stuff. So I think that's enough poking around in here. And then you can also get more mods from the Steam Workshop. Or if you're not on Steam, there's a uh, program you can get off GitHub. Uh, I know the devs have linked it somewhere. They've linked it in multiple places. But yeah, there is a way to get it if you're not on Steam. You can get stuff off GitHub that will do the same thing, basically. So, all right. So we'll jump in. Now, uh, when I played through this the first few times, it was either on Veteran or Hero, and they've advised that when you're playing through it, drop the difficulty down a bit, because supposedly better enemies will make, the, like, it'll make the game harder, which, yeah, is pretty good, I think. Like, I, I would like to have smarter AI that don't do dumb things, so uh, we're going to skip the tutorial, because they actually did advise that it can break the game, and also because I remember the basics, we don't need the tutorial. Got all the DLC on... Promotional skins because, yep, we're doing that. All right, let's go. The Phoenix Project was founded on October 24th, 1945. The Second War to End All Wars was over. But there were those who understood that we could no longer afford to think in terms of nations and empires. For a time, the Phoenix Project successfully navigated the political conflicts of its era. That was our golden age. Phoenix Project operatives scoured the world for clues. We had bases in two dozen countries. Even the heavens were not off limits. But out there, on the far side of the moon, began our downfall. The failure of the Phoenix 2 mission exposed us to our enemies in the UN. Stripped of resources and scattered to the winds, we were reduced to a secret, a memory. When the Pandora virus woke up, we should have been the first line of defense. When huge clouds of mist appeared over the sea, when people started vanishing, we should have figured out what was going on. And when those people started coming back, changed, hostile, alien. We should have been ready to fight, but we failed. The ecosystem started to change, imperceptibly at first, then faster and faster. Three factions arose. New Jericho, 
trying to restore order and purity. Sinedrin, hoping to build a world without hierarchies. And the Disciples of Anu, a new syncretic religion dedicated to adaptation and biological change. At war with the world and at odds with each other, these factions cannot find a way forward. Now the mist is returning and armies are rising from the sea. Without the Phoenix Project, humanity will fall. It's time to rise from the ashes. Alrighty. So, yep, okay, so we're already at the Phoenix, first Phoenix base. Okay, I don't remember this. I don't remember this happening at the start beforehand. I don't know if it's a DLC thing or a mod thing. Got this place mostly up and running thanks to Elena. She is quite the wonder kind. Alright, so random guy. Okay, so it's basically like this game's like Phoenix Point's equivalent of Welcome Back Commander. Yeah, that thing. Cool. Alright, yep, see, I own the base. So we're going to research. There's only one thing we can get at the moment atmospheric analysis. So we'll get started on that. Back to the geoscape. Started with scouting. Hmm. You know what? Maybe we won't do that yet. I'll go see if there's like a faction mission I can start instead. Get leveled up a bit. Because if they're harder. Yeah, maybe we'll try that again later. Let's jump up in the air because there's only bugs in these in the starter mission, so I'm not overly worried about getting caught. There we go. Now we know where everybody is. Score. Oh, hang on. There we go. Okay. Perfect shot. Yep, so now they all know that I'm here. So presumably they're going to start flowing in. Um, given that the fireworms can't shoot me. What the hell? Ah, okay. I'm stealthed, I think. Oh, unrevealed. Holy crap. That's awesome. Okay. Well, that wasn't in the base game. Oh, yeah. This is kind of a blind look, by the way. Like, I haven't really had a chance to play around with this before starting this series. So, kind of learning as I go. And everyone else can learn with me. This is looking sick so far. Nothing's getting past me. Yeah, okay, you can stand by. And we'll just end the turn. Ah, there's more. Come on, there we go. Oh, there's another one. Worked out well. Good thing there are two of them there. Okay. Come get some. Yeah, I was going to say, if he could hit that, I would be amazed. 
Be like the best marksman ever of all time. Okay. What I'll do. Moving back into safety. Should be safe enough there. Area covered. Alright, so provided there's no more poison worms there. It's actually super easy to deal with when you know it's only poison worms because they can't shoot you. I'm on the move. Well, at least I don't think they can shoot you. Maybe they changed that in the mod too. Uh, that's not even going to be worth attempting, I think. That's alright. All that was only ever intended to be a sort of scout for this anyway, so... Only because I knew that they wouldn't be able to shoot me. She wait, yeah, can she make it up? No, she can't. Ready to go to work. Okay. See they've got buffs listed on here too now. Ten percent damage from adjacent enemies. So you get like random buffs now too. Random um Receiving. like passive stats, I guess. Unless that's from um previously acquired like skills in the skill tree. I don't know, I haven't looked yet. Cause what's this one got? Damage 10%, accuracy 10%, and minus 10%. Yeah, no, they have class skills that do that, so I'm guessing that's what that's from. Already there. Uh, you know what? I'll just move around here a bit, get a little bit more greedy. Given that I know where everything is anyway. I'm prepared. Rolling out. Got you covered. Nothing's getting past me. One down. Maybe don't attack the other things. Yes. Ah, that's not what I wanted. No, uh, don't do that. Uh oh. Ah, I've stuffed it. Oh well. I imagine they will be fine anyway. Alright, we'll just end turn there. Come on. Alright, that's it. First mission down. a potential ally we first send the apostle all right so this is the disciples of any but i'm gonna break protocol to say thanks now listen i'll be honest with you the exalted is the only one who has any real answers tobias west may be clever and sinedrian may sound great but only the exalted is dealing with the world as it actually is she can lead us out of this mess give us lives worth living yeah i don't know if i want to go to the Anu. 
You know what? We'll go with Lord Tino more, and we'll see what happens. If you want to work with us, you'll still have to deal with the hierarchy. Work your way up from the apostle to the one oh, born, that's cool. the keeper of the threshold, yeah, free food. all the way up to the synod of yearning and the exalted herself. That's hard work. All right, we'll just skip that. Whatever. Uh, we'll do the poison worm autopsy and disciples of Anu. All right, and now we'll go to the personnel list. I can level up. Oh, there we go. Yeah, see, so they've already got level one skills there automatically applied. Okay, cool. Accuracy of overwatched attacks. Is this one an assault? Yeah. Minus 30% accuracy. Jeez. Could be handy, though, for up close. I'll go quick aim. Still got 20 skill points left. Um... I have bonus speed. What's that from? Does it tell me? No, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, hang on. Maybe it's just telling me how many points I need to upgrade. I have no idea. Okay. We'll go extra willpower too, because I think that costs willpower. Yeah, it does. All right. So that'll do that for the time being. More exploring. Research complete. Let's cue all that up. In one of the public squares in Akkad, a loud debate between a supporter of Sanhedrin and a local priestess has drawn a lot of attention. The debate is friendly as the women have known each other for a long time, but there is an unusual intensity in the crowd as arguments fly back and forth. People are deeply invested. Sinedrian supporter argues that there is a lot we can learn from the old world, that not everything was bad just the way it was organised and we could build a civilization that had many of the same features but without the systemic flaws. The priestess disagrees, she thinks the old world was fundamentally broken and that without a change in human nature we would just repeat all the same mistakes again. Uh, what happens if I stay out of it? Yeah, done, cool, whatever. So. I don't really care. I just want to shoot stuff. Approaching the burned out husks of a new Jericho convoy, our operatives are suddenly startled by a shout. From a rudimentary shelter dug out from under one of the burned buildings emerges a battered new Jericho technician. Ooh, okay. Waving his arms and laughing. Exhausted by the ordeal, yet deeply grateful, the survivor offers to join the Phoenix Project. Yes, give me the... Yeah. Hell yeah, let's give me... Get a technician. Sick. Technician's awesome. The third mist. The viral mist is... Okay, we're ready to share our preliminary findings regarding the new Pandora virus outbreak. It is our belief that the vast waves of... I'll just paraphrase. Uh, we believe that the vast waves of mist that helped cause the destruction of civilization were generated underwater by gigantic mutated structures. Each wave has slightly different properties. Okay. So I think this is the mod-related stuff. We have received reports of a variety of afflictions, suffering by individuals who have travelled or reside in areas covered by the mist, tiredness, lack of energy, brain fog, anguish, and sometimes hallucinations. Uh, symptoms never fully disappear, but are negligible when the subjects are rested and progressively become worse as they exert themselves. Symptoms get worse if the subject stays or returns to locations where mist is present. We have termed this condition a neuric delirium on account of the subjects complaining of nightmares or crazy dreams with similar themes of monstrous degeneration and smothering. Ooh, brutal. Our operatives can now be afflicted with a delirium status of up to a third of their willpower. Alright, so... Aneric Delirium it was actually a fail state that was originally in the game, and then they got rid of it and replaced it with, it was like a standard like population counter, once the population dropped below a certain amount, you fail the game. But the Delirium thing was something like, uh, see I never hit the end of the game, so I never really found out for sure, but I think it was something like, once the, there's like a meter, and once the meter maxes out, basically you lose, like everybody goes crazy. So they basically brought that back, and then altered it to make it more interesting. I gotta say, it's really cool that they've put in 
like story stuff to explain how it works instead of just going oh here's the mechanic like it like they've actually written their own story it's really cool another anu haven I guess the anu are the theme of this one Port Dia is a... Oh, okay, this might be the new Jericho intro. Yes, basically, a haven has been overrun by rampaging soldiers. Uh, and if we stop the soldiers in Jericho, we'll be grateful. All right, yep, we're doing it. First off, I'll try and get this sniper somewhere safe. Moving in quick. Ready. Never liked fighting you, Jericho. Turn to have a lot of health and do a lot of damage. Ah, sweet. There's my technician. Awesome. Yes. Let's go. Now, oh. why do you automatically have a grenade equipped? Okay. <laughs> Probably a good thing that I check that now rather than finding it later. Uh what I might do, I'll be there. move the heavy up here. I'm here. Just try and keep the technician out of harm's way for the time being. Yeah, we might move back Let's there. Go. Cool. I love the, the infiltration phase now because that wasn't a thing. You just come in and you get spotted immediately. I think, unless they're just doing a better job of explaining mechanics that are already there. I don't think so. Oh, hang on. What was it? There we go. I do like the cone system too, so you're not accidentally shooting something that you don't mean to. Ah, uh, you know what? Just end the turn. I don't think I've got anything that can shoot anyway. Oh, hello. I don't know where one of them is. Okay, what are they doing? There we go. Can I jump up there? No, I can't. Ah, that was a bit stupid. Just gonna keep an eye on that because I'm just waiting for one of these new Jericho soldiers to pop up there and start shooting at me. Um, yes. Might even rush the technician up to that wall there. Okay, my end turn there. My turn. Why is he running? Oh, hello. Uh, why have they ended turn on the evac point? Okay, that seems odd. Rolling out. Ready to go Still in full on. cover at the moment. Why 
might just move back here. Yeah, okay, so I do should in theory have a shot if he starts taking shots at me. Uh, I'm not even sure if there's anybody there, but I'll just keep her there. Covered. Got you covered. All right, that'll do. Born again, oh, there's one. My turn. Did that one seriously evacuate? What the hell? Okay. Nah, just did it alert them at least. Yeah. All right. Cool. I can sort of get them coming towards me. That would be nice. There, there. Oh, hello. Thing I had a look, eh? Can I? No, I can't do anything there. Okay. Uh, not gonna be able to accomplish anything with the sniper with a pistol from there. That won't work at all. Really? Is that even gonna be. Ah, not even worth the attempt. I will, however, see if I can get this heavy into cover somewhere. Yeah, get him well away. Ready. Start moving my other assault over as well. I think that's everything. What are you going to do? Nothing. Alright, that's one wasted. Sweet. Got good cover though. Can't really hit them at all from here. Wow. All right. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. I'm here. What about? Wow. Okay, that didn't do anything like what I was hoping it would do. <laughs> oh no. There we go. Ah. Oh, okay. That's going to be a bit of a problem. So we got health damage there. All right, if I can disable this arm. Actually, you know what? Can the sniper hit him now? No, I can't. Damn it. Here I am. Let's do this. All right, try that. Damn it. That's a terrible. You fired. Uh. 
Alright, now let's see what I can do. Okay. One down. Tough little buggers, aren't they? Okay, I'm going to back that one up, though. Because I don't know if that cover's any good now. It might not be. All right, so they've already taken a shot, so that's not good. That's not great. It's not really, probably not going to really do anything, but oh well. Then I'll get my heavy up in the corner here, just in case. Okay, and my turn. Oh shit. Ah, uh, no. Okay, that's not too bad. Problem is, how am I going to take care of that? Wow, yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> like, at all. Alright. No, 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 no. Oh, dear. <laughs> it's like, don't shoot me. Ah, oh, okay. So they got return shot as well. Alright, might just leave them alone for the time being. Really? It's good cover, though. Maybe they are doing a better job at taking cover. Yeah, I think it was they've also changed return fire now, so they can't just take re like return fire over and over and over again. They're more limited in what they can do with regards to that now. Okay. Target located. Let's see what I can do here. Alright, now they can't fire. Score. <laughs> okay. Finger on the trigger. No, that's not good. You know what? Just shoot anyway. Score. Might do... Sweet. Ah, oh. oh, they can't do anything now anyway. Might actually be safe to move the technician up closer. Yeah, he's dazed, so... Still not good enough? Okay. Yeah, actually, I need to shut him down pretty quick. Rolling out. That guy's no danger. He's just say he can't shoot, so... There we go. Yeah, no, he's trying to leg it. Cool. Not getting anywhere. Question is, who do I want to use to level level up? Actually, you know what? Just whatever. Put him down. Terminated. All right, so here you go, fair, fair few levels up there.
I had always assumed the Phoenix Project would return one day, even after Symes disappeared. It seems to be the defining pattern of your history. Fall, then rise again. I wonder if this points to an underlying weakness or an underlying strength. I suppose time will have to tell. Time and the choices you make. After all, you are not necessarily defined by what has come before. You can be whatever your will allows you to be. That is the essence of the human experience. That is why I did not intervene. All right, yeah, so they're all about genetic purity in that. Ourselves easily enough. All right, we'll just get over that. I needed you to see. Oh, yeah, I need to figure out how to manufacture that stuff. Can I do that? No, I can't. Alright, I might even fly everybody back to base for the time being. So we'll level that guys up. Sophia Brown. I might just go quick aim as a default, because it seems pretty useful. And then we'll go more speed, more strength. Jacob Eber, the sniper. Overwatch is one action point. Accuracy of Overwatch increased by 50%. All right, that combination seems pretty powerful. I get both of them. And then I have 15 left. Yeah, something must be affecting the stat. I just don't know what. Yeah, it's odd. Aitan. It's a cool name. Carry rate minus 25. Privileged. Speed plus 2. Oh, that's cool. Perception plus four, carry weight minus 25. I don't remember, minus 25%. I don't remember that being a thing. Cool. All right, we might leave this first one here. So we've got to do an intro to what the mod is and gotten a start, I guess. You know, opened up the first base and done a bit of exploring. So, um, you know, a couple of the starter missions. So we'll push on from there. I want to check out this um, scavenging site shortly. Just, yeah, I'm a little worried about getting overwhelmed because it, uh, from what I, from what I have read about it and heard about it, they're supposed to be quite a bit harder than they originally were. So yeah, we'll see how that goes in the next episode. Until next time, this is Sean from Explominate. Have a good one.